So the stakes couldn't be greater on senior night here at Verina. Home of the Blue Devils, two of the best teams in Virginia, two of the best teams in the East End. Respect for each other in this heated rivalry. But things would go the Springer's way from the opening kickoff. Check it out, the return. He loses the football on the tackle. Highland Springs jumps on the ball, and the Springer's got it. A huge momentum swing. Coach Lauren Johnson said special teams would be a big factor in this game. Right away in the first play it was, a few plays later. Christian Martin, touchdown to Karan Ferguson down the middle. Highland Springs, after a uh, offsides penalty on the point after go for two, they're up eight nothing. But this was, make no mistake, a defensive game. Nice stop by Verina, Kenneth Faison and company. They do not want to lose in the trenches to Aziz Foster Powell in the Springer running game. Likewise, the Springers were a thorn in Verina's side as the Blue Devils couldn't get anything going offensively. Number 55, Alonzo James and company. You want more special teams? Second quarter, you got it. Check out the punt coverage right here. I mean, you don't show punt coverage highlights very often unless it's just dominating. Like that, half the team was there. Then later, fourth down, Verina goes for it. Verina doesn't get there. A couple of yards short, Springers turn him over. And it would lead to this, Kmart, Christian Martin. You give this guy all day to throw, that's going to be a problem for you on defense. He fires, finds his man, Aziz, Foster, Powell. All the way to Painter, touchdown Springers. So Foster Powell, a weapon on the ground and through the air, 50-0 Island Springs with 3.12 to go. Now, moments before the half, Verina tries the fake punt. Special teams again, they don't make the first down. Highland Springs gets the ball deep in Verina territory, and they take advantage. Good teams do. Kmart to Foster Powell. First down, Kmart. This time gonna hand it off to Foster Powell. Foster Powell all the way down inside the five yard line. He's gonna return, to, uh, uh, get some recruits to turn their heads on these highlights. He runs it in for the touchdown. Highland Springs would have a 22 to nothing lead at the half at Verina. Second half, few plays in, Kmart. Fires, Ja'Kairi Henley with the catch. He turns on the afterburners. He will see you next time. He's gonna go get a hot pretzel. Touchdown, Island Springs. Yeah, the, the place was jumping and packed. Thousands of people at this one. 29 nothing, 29 nothing with 719 to go in the third. One more D, you got it. Highland Springs held Verina to under 100 yards of offense and less than 30 yards passing. Sack right there by Brennan Johnson. Brennan Johnson and the Johnson family tree involved heavily in this one. Another sack. There's 55 again. Alonzo James. And then Verina, late in the game, trying to get something going in the fourth. They got a fumble and a recovery. So the Blue Devils can, at the very least, get on the board here. And uh, looking, looking, it just was not happening for Miles Derricott on this night. That Springer defense, absolutely suffocating. They win this one in shutout fashion. 29-nothing is your final. The team that, that does well special teams wise in this game is definitely gonna come out victorious. Take it back to last year. We, uh, we ran into each other two punters and we missed that extra point. That was the difference in them scoring and us not tying the game up. Special teams, when it comes down to it, it'll never be any different. That's why I think about this game. Tight games, when you're in the playoffs, things of that nature. If, you, if you're not working in all three phases and not playing complimentary football, you're in trouble.